everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we are going to be making something a viewer has sent to me, and that is going to be pumpkin bites. With the holiday season coming up, I thought this would be fitting to tie in with something you can make in your air fryer really quick, an extra treat for your family. So you are going to need a package of croissant rolls, 15, ounce can of pie filling, pumpkin pie spice. You will need one egg that I have right here. And then you will need one fourth cup of milk. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we are going to be adding in our can of pumpkin. So pour that in a dish so you can mix, because we're gonna be mixing this up before we put it um, on our croissant rolls. Put in your milk, one egg. You are gonna measure out a tablespoon of pumpkin spice. Mix that all together. Okay, so I have all my croissant rolls laid out. They do not need to be perfect because you are gonna be rolling these up into balls anyways. So it doesn't matter if you end up with some like a little bit different size. So don't you don't need to be like real picky about it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pumpkin mixture that you just made. You are gonna put just a little bit in the bigger part of the croissant. So just go ahead and uh, fill everything up. So now that I have all the filling on top of my croissant rolls, you are going to want to just ball everything up. Make sure you are folding everything in kind of like a mini pie, like a little mini pie pocket. You want to be able to cover all of your pumpkin in there. I don't know if you guys can see that good or not. Um, so it's just kind of like, my light is a little too bright, but they're just like little pumpkin dumplings. So I'm gonna go ahead here and finish up and just wrap these all together. So you just fold in, um, fold in the corners and just make little dumplings. So I'm gonna finish up here and then we will talk about how we need to set our air fryer. Now that I have my pumpkin little pies put together here, I'm going to put them in the air fryer. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna spray my tray because we don't want them sticking in there. Now I should be able to get all of these in my fryer. If you're not able to get them all in your fryer, yours might be just a little bit smaller, but you should be able to get um, these all in there. Okay, so now I'm going to spray the top of these little pumpkin bites and we are going to set our air fryer 360 for 12 minutes. Make sure you check them halfway in between cooking times so you don't um, overcook them. You want them to be golden brown. Mine are a little bit darker than that, but that's okay. Um, they're still soft in the middle. So I'm just gonna plate these up here quick and we are going to top them with some powdered sugar. You also can use um, like icing. I know this recipe called for icing and stuff like that, but I'm going to be putting powdered sugar on top. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out my air fryer playlist. I have a bunch of Thanksgiving 
um, ideas for your air fryer. I will leave the recipe down in the description and you guys can follow along. Um, just make sure that you guys are watching your air fryer. I am using a Power XL, so I'm not sure the difference with other air fryers. So just keep an eye on yours. But other than that, hopefully you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving this year. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.